Okay. Welcome everyone to the um, November 3rd uh, edition of the Asia Pacific Community Call. We're just looking at the agenda right now. Yeah. Hoy, did you have um, some things that you wanted to bring up or add to the agenda? Yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, last night, uh, so yeah. Uh, and I and uh, some other Chinese uh, people uh, to have a meeting, online meeting, to talk about matrix model. So yeah, you might mean to give to give people about how matrix model working group may be working. So I introduced them. It's a trigger a lot of discussion there, and uh, I think mm, mm, they all have uh, many interest my niche is on, on that. So I think uh, our discussion will be continued uh, after that. Actually, some some people from universities and uh, and also from other companies, they share their uh, some experiences and the research results. So I think after that, maybe more and more metrics model will be pop up from those people and that they can contribute they can contribute and discuss with us later. Yeah, I think uh, it's effective to look at the metric from um, the perspective of uh, users. So um, using user stories to build metrics models uh, is um, a new way that we can, um, we can grow <laughs> and it's just um, I, I still I, I still I, I don't think um, I, I still not so very sure that how we can apply them um, because also I saw uh, I saw the um, the document template the template of each metric model and the the implementation sections do uh, remain blank right. Um, it's just, um, I think maybe we can um, hash out a way um, about how these models can um, be applied. Um, actually, this is a discussion uh, with, um, within our lab. Uh, we just had this afternoon that um, I know uh, just Sorry, I mean, uh, maybe some, some, sometimes um, some people, they just want uh, uh, an answer, like um, the badging program. It is kind of um, uh, doing the quantitative work. It gives people a result like it's um, gold or silver or not passed. That, that is kind of um, a, a result, a specific result. And um, based on that, we can... So uh, like we are always doing the um, healthy analytics and maybe sometimes people want, uh, but I know it's noble for chaos uh, not to give a result because that's a bit too, um, uh, let me find the word. That's um, arbitrary, um, a, a bit like, I'm not sure if I made it clear to do that, but sometimes people want to know uh, if you can give me a, a result about it's healthy or unhealthy or um, or sub healthy or just the stages between healthy and unhealthy. And based on that, um, they can look into exactly uh, which um, um, which kind, uh, which dimensions um, looks not so good. Yeah, I'm not sure if I made myself clear. Yeah, you absolutely did. And I know that um, we've had conversations across working groups and with other organizations about doing things like a scorecard or, you know, yes. a grade, like, am I an A plus or am I, you know, not doing well? Am I failing? And it's, it is very hard. Um, I was, actually talking to someone uh, a few days ago about this um, because since every open source project is so very different, 
um, it's really hard to compare and to, to put that judgment on there, like you were saying. And so I, I know that's something probably that people want, but I'm not sure how we can do that in a, in a, in a scalable way. So for instance, um, we were talking about the, um, the idea of um, people coming and going quickly, like an occasional contributor, only you know contributing a, a, like once or twice and then leaving. And in some contexts, that's my, that might be what you want because it's like fresh faces and new voices and yeah. you know a constant um, in, inflow of new ideas. But that could also indicate that maybe your community is not fun and talk, maybe it's toxic. And so people are coming and then they intended to stay, but now they're leaving. So it really is hard to just say this number is a good number or this number is a bad number without having that full picture and really having, you know, a better idea. So I think the metrics models can get us closer to that. So like if we looked at, you know, um, that, that number of people who are coming and going quickly, in addition to, um, you know, uh, like the, the feel of the, the community or other things that we're measuring that measure the culture of the community, like those two things together might be closer to giving you a, some kind of indication that this is maybe a problem or it's completely fine and this is what we want to see happen. So yeah, I totally understand what you're saying, Shoya. Yeah, I think that 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 that's that makes sense. And indeed, the situation depends. So you you just can't say whether it's good or bad. Like people come and go. Yeah. So, so so community usually do some comparison between the different community which have uh, the close or or slight uh, similar situation uh, from from the different point of view. Maybe they 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 doing the similar software implementation or the similar uh, areas in the uh, different uh, uh, functionality or something like that. We always do do this comparison, and then we can get find the gap between that. You cannot always you can all you cannot always get an abstract value to say okay this is good or not so yeah i think user story is a good way so i um, think uh june maybe you have something to share here today oh yeah um like like you said um i list one i list one metric um, I'm not sure girls have it. I just want to show, um, make sure one metric. Let me show my screen. Yeah. Okay. And this, and I want to know how to how to rank. You know in. <clears throat> In in my company, um, we have the requirement. We will have an requirements. It is about uh, uh, how to rank rank contributor or how to um, compare an uh, open source project uh, between A and B. Like um like like. Uh, like you said, um, we cannot compare compare to different uh, open source project, and we cannot say which one is bad or which one is good. So maybe we have the maybe some one of the open source project have their um, objective. Maybe they um, I just. Uh, make an example, maybe they just want to prove the health uh, deployment of the community to increase their review number. So um, they let the review, review, review comments as their, as their top, as their top metric. So they should like the 
OpenStack uh, Rec. Yeah, I have a question. So this figure is uh, is coming from the same project, or they just coming from the same? Uh, I mean, the code code host management, for example, the data collection from uh, coming from the uh, the GitHub or GitLab, or they just coming from the one single project. They just uh, coming from um. They just coming from okay open stack their, right? open stack yeah they have their own review review platform not to GitHub. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I found that. Yeah. 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 Sure. You know, open stack not use uh, GitHub to review, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they have their own um uh, own list own rank. So um, I'm not sure kills have this metric about uh, just a rank, rank, rank contributor or rank project. Do we, do we have? Do we have a metric about the rank? I don't believe we do. No, I, I, I also don't think we have a... We have we, we we care about commit. We care about pull request and issue submit, but uh, we didn't rank it, uh, in in one in one uh, metric. I think. Yes. So, so I have I have two requirements. Um, one is how to rank a, a contributor. The two is how to rank an open source project. But this open source project uh, also come come from one um, come from the same field. Um, in China, we have uh, some platform to uh, rank this uh, open source project, such as uh, such as uh, um, DB project. We have yeah, there. There is a pro. There is a project named DB Engine. Uh, is that what you are talking about? Um, DB Engine have a uh, have have an have an rank list. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know it, right? Yeah. The um, it's like the popular um, uh, the, the 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 rank of the popular of all the database. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why there is open source or um, closed source or, or commercial commercial yeah. database? It's not just about China, no. it's about all over the world. Yeah. 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 So we have this. So, so I think uh, do we have to add this metric to rank rank it because uh, we we already have the rank website right but we don't have a metric for rank so i have a question you know like yeah. db engines they all belong to the deep database so in from the data uh, from open source they have different uh, areas maybe they you know uh, they focus on the database development and someone focus on the cloud and someone focus on ai so do we have to rank uh, by the different areas or or we put them together in one run mm, maybe, maybe we have a uh, we have the goal and uh, we can we can uh, we can have some different different rules but but uh, um, some people want to use it. They can use it. If you don't like it, you cannot look at it. May maybe. I, I think uh, one thing to do the ranking is you need to get all the all the data for the project you want. You you want you want them. Um, you, you wish to include? Um, I'm interested in the how to how to compute the score. 
to, to get this ranking. So you, you, you okay. mentioned uh, we can rank it by the pool, number of pull requests, a number of issue, or number of co code commit, but how to combine them together as a value. Otherwise, uh, how to how to uh, compare compare and make a list? I'm not sure now, but I try to find the um, suitable suitable way to to figure out uh, how how to do it, how to how to add it. This how to add a poor poor request or, or issue or some others. Uh, so uh, what what you what you want to do is to um have some kind of ranking list um of all the open source project maybe divided by um the um divided by different domains like database like like um uh, yeah. op op operating system and of all the open source projects or within an organization or even within one project but to do the ranking of maybe contributors the contribution of contributors i think that would make it <laughs> sounds a bit easier um yeah so we could uh and uh, rank one project contributors. This is the first first uh, step. Maybe second step, we could uh, rank uh, the some projects from one error. So what does this rank mean? Does it mean the first the for the first one is the, the most uh, health Pro, uh, open source community in these areas, or this is the most active communities in this area. Uh, so it's triggered a lot of thinking, uh, triggered me a lot of thinking about that because we, in, in chaos, we have uh, 70 metrics to measure yeah. the uh, community health from the different point of view. So if we have to rank it, should we use the all all of those metrics and combine them together or we just pick up some of them to rank it but how to choose those metrics that's my concern uh, maybe uh, the first step we could rank uh, contributor um, for contributor we have uh, only maybe some of uh, metric for mm -hmm. uh, suitable for contributor. Only mm -hmm. some of the, yeah, for contributor. Okay. So you mean who is the most active contributors in, in some areas? Like uh, for example, yeah. June, you are the most, uh, most active <laughs> contributor in, in in chaos or in in, 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 in some project. Uh, yeah, okay. maybe who is the best one the project uh, really wanted? Yeah. Um, I remember there is a metric. Uh, I think we've discussed these two metrics. Uh, the elephant factor and the uh, bus factor, um, and one 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 of the, but but that's not the. I don't think that's the initial motivation of these two metrics to do the ranking, but it has to um, ca calculate uh, each contributor's contribution to this project to see the distribution of of the uh, like the workload of the community. Um, so, mm -hmm. so I yeah, think um, from the bus factor, it's coming from the it's a stand from the risk point of view. And, yes, and uh, also the similar as the as the elephant factor. Yeah, 
no matter people yes. or, or, or organizations, if they play the key roles and if they liked, if they liked, so some risk will be erased. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, I, uh, it's also uh, let me uh, trigger me thinking about the onion model to to divide our contributors into the three roles, like a regular, casual, and call contributors. So it's also based on some uh, 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 measurement or benchmark, like commit, commit code or pull request or issues. So. So, yeah, yeah, we, we could try this full module and uh, I I I I trying to use uh, I'm trying to <coughs> figure out this uh, metric because uh, you know in company um, the manager also wants to know know the list the rank list you know uh -huh. and they also want uh -huh. to know yeah. it so who is the first one who is the last one. yeah. Understand. Yeah, Especially it's really. <laughs> it's, if this it's really... community is organized, yeah. If in this yeah. community is initialized uh, by a company or, or by, by several companies, the com the com the community manager have to report uh, to the OSPO office that uh, okay, I, uh, yeah. this community is the I most thought... active. Yeah. I understand. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and they trying trying to me to explain how uh, how how to list how to rank it and trying to let me explain <clears throat> what is the famous way or what is the what is the best way to to rank it? You know, and I cannot explain it, so I put it on uh, the chaos. Yeah, it's also kind kind of like a requirement or a proposal. Yeah. I don't know if you are all familiar with um, a um, PHP project called Drupal, D-R-U-P-A-L, um, but they have something similar uh, where they rank um, organizations of how uh, involved they are in the project, which I think is kind of an interesting thing. And I'll put that over here in the chat so you can see that. Um, and. Uh, so this might be another way to kind of look internally at your project of like what's happening and who's contributing if it's something that has multiple organizations in it. And they have so when they rank them, they list like four different things, um, how many people are contributing, how many projects within the organization they're, they're contributing to and how many issues uh, they call them issue credits. Uh, because it's they give credit for someone who's like organizing an event they open an issue and that like gives them credit for doing that work so um, that's where that comes from but it's just kind of an interesting way to look at um, the different ways that they're ranking people who are contributing uh -huh. that's interesting yeah That also kind of ties into if you are going to rank people um, that are contributing to the project, you know, we should probably make sure that those contributions that are not code, um, maybe like documentation or event, you know, organizing things like that have a place somewhere that they're they're recognized and counted somehow. So something to think about. We do have a, a, a metric called contribution attribution. And it's we worked with the Drupal folks on that um, to give credit to those non-code contributions and to make sure that they're kind of counted somewhere. 
So that would be maybe a part of that metric model is to make sure that if you're looking at activity that we're like looking at the full picture, not just um, a little piece of it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but it still um, depends on different projects to decide uh, like uh, contributions, like con uh, documentation or organizing events, like uh, what kind of uh, score you want to give, you, you, you want to attach to this kind of contribution. Right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, school. And then you, you also maybe have the issue of, um, you know, it, people gaming the system and submitting a lot of smaller issues to, or smaller pull requests to like, if you're just looking straight at the number, you know, of, of number of pull requests. So it, you know, raises them in the yes. ranking, even though they're not. <laughs> You know, we, I don't know yes. if you all have participated in Hacktoberfest that GitHub runs sometimes, but, um, or I should say, I think Docker runs it. Somebody does uh, DigitalOcean or someone. And that was a big problem is people were submitting, you know, like adding a space and that's their pull request is they added a space in a, in a documentation <laughs> or something. It's like, okay, <laughs> does that count yes. as the same as, you know, something else? So it is, it can be complicated if, you know, if you're just looking at, a number, but that being said, you have, if we're gonna try to provide this data, like you have to start somewhere, you know? So I don't know, I, I think it's a good metric. I think it would be super interesting. And I know a lot of people would want to yeah. use this. It would be super interesting, <laughs> super interesting. <laughs> Maybe exactly it same. would be yeah. popular. I mean, yeah. exactly the same thing happened in China recently. Uh, an open source project from a tech giant is being notorious for like uh, giving others little gifts to start for the project and it it brings like huge discussion especially in the the wechat group of chaos chinese um the group we set up because this kind of thing just bring people realize what exactly should we care about like giving other people gifts um, to let them start the project, maybe you just bring people that they, they give the star and they just leave and you it, it, it actually means nothing. Yeah, so we should uh, delete some uh, delete some number about like you said, uh, just uh, submit some space or just a uh, star. So we have to delete some this metric, uh, this number, and not use this number to rank. So we we should to know it. I think a number of star, even we can say say are this metric, we should give them a very small weight. It kind of like just a advertisement to to promote a new project. I mean, some popular or successful uh, project, no one would care about how much stars they, they already got because mm -hmm. they already success. Um, it could maybe, maybe, help manager to to say to say some which to say the contributor which one is maybe more more better it, it will help just uh, use this to help not uh, use this to judge some So um, are we finished on this topic? Okay. I think this topic uh, we, we need to consider more because uh, we cannot decide it 
and it's interesting yeah. but we cannot decide uh, how to how to add uh, different metrics behind this rank uh, yeah, maybe we can bring this up to other working groups, but I think yeah that that needs more discussion because it can cause some complicated problems. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Could we just uh, start to start start to write this metric in use uh, use chaos metric? Metric metric form format. Of course, yeah. We can, you can, you can write it down uh, uh, following the chaos metric template, and uh, and uh, and we can attend. We can decide which uh, working group to attend to to add more discussion. Uh, yeah. What do you, what do you think, guys? Uh, I haven't decided. That. It's about value part. Or? Do you have any ideas? You uh, you answer to me. No, uh, I yeah. ask you all of That's you. Accurate. I don't know which working group it should belong to. Is it belong to the uh, value working group? Yeah, maybe value because you're kind of trying to demonstrate who's bringing the most value to your project or you know how your project is valued to others based on different criteria. So yeah, maybe value. Um, I can put the metrics template link in here, oops, in here for whoever wants to work on that. Thank you. June, I also have an interest on this metrics. Maybe we can work together on it. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Yes. And feel yeah. feel free to use a different um, a different mode than like we usually do it in Google Docs, but obviously you can use whatever makes the most sense as easiest for you all. Yeah, that's fine for us. I think we can access to the Google Doc. Okay, uh, my my second question is, uh, uh, we put the metric about. Uh, um, the last 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 meeting, we put uh, one metric about uh, about conversion rate. Or... Yeah, yeah, conversion rate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do we put this yeah, in think... GitHub we... first or? I think uh, you can add uh, you can and uh, you can add uh, the content with it uh, in the in the share SharePoint and put it in the uh, template submit it uh, into the uh, uh, GitHub as a as a as a pull request. I think mm -hmm. a lot of meetings have already collaborated. Uh, co collaborating together uh, to to uh, to do some uh, work on that. Okay. Okay. Um, my third third question. My third question okay. is. Uh, yeah. We. Our team is uh, for operates oper operation open user open source uh, project. So we we have to know how to evaluate uh, an operation activity is and how to find the prob problem in that in the operation process. Could you present it to enlarge it? It's kind of small. How to? Just this one. Okay. 
I cannot. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, um, this metric is about how to evaluate, or maybe we. It's uh, it's kind of the same same thing about so uh, we have, uh, we trying to use a score to judge our activity, to judge our active activity. If we 活动活动是 activity 是不是 ？Event or event, online event, event or offline event. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe as the operator of an event, we have to judge it. So we use one score to. So this metric is is about the way we're trying to use one score to to judge our offline events. Maybe like this. 81, 81 score. And uh, each and each step we have a uh, their own score. So in in this picture, we can simply to find out uh, in this in this step we have in this step we have we have the big problem. And so maybe I can translate it. Yeah, we can translate it a little bit. So it's a kind of like a, a journey of a uh, of a contributor. It started from uh, to to touch in the uh, get knowledge of uh, the 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 community, and uh, by by uh, joining some online or offline events, they start to uh, have more familiar and uh, have more interest on this. Uh, uh, community and then uh, they maybe start doing some contribution. It's kind of like yeah. And finally, he told he start uh, making some uh, real contribution, like uh, writing some documentations or uh, contribute some code. And finally, he become or she become the co contributor of this community, right? Yes. Yes. It's kind of like uh, uh, the people engagement. In this uh, community, from the beginning and the, to the and to the and to uh, and to to, to uh, joining the uh, community finally. So from the each uh, touch point or event point, uh, you give them a score, right? Yeah. For yeah. example, yes. when they start the journey, uh, when they start join an event. You you may evaluate okay how it's even uh, alike is it is it held successfully or not so you, you give them a score so if, uh, if yeah. this score is really low that means you cannot uh, help people uh, from uh, you know from a, a Cairo contributor to become uh, a call contributor or regular contributor they they must have some problem so. Based yes. on this score, you you can figure out what had happened, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Think about what happened, and we we trying to figure out which, um, uh, which metric have more problem. It is uh, up or down. Yeah. So we yeah. can find the simple, the simple, the more simple things. Small, small. Okay, so I I mean it's not it's not like a metric. I I more think of it as a matrix model because yeah. we cannot use any any single metric to evaluate <laughs> so how this event like maybe right yes yes yeah, more like and, a metric model and we use. Uh, and we have some mess to provide it, such as the uh, analytic uh, clearance process. We have five five mess to figure out the 
to figure out the score. And the each each mass have their own senior. Is it clear about this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. Article or paper. Yeah, we, we paper. find this five method from article. And the, the this thing also from from some paper, some article. So you and wanna use those uh, methodologies into this matrix model, right? Yes. To utilize them. Yes. Okay. And this is our real problem in our work. So you already to uh, uh, to implement this method into your uh, to to deploy it into into your com community or you want to get some ideas from 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 chaos or uh, we already implement implement it. Okay. Um, about code, code. We will already write the code about this five method, and uh, trying to uh, put some data to use this method to to get some score or something else. So we just want to put put this on uh, on um, um, case. Maybe we can find the more more suitable maybe we could find other method mm -hmm. so matrix model is composed of uh, some existed existed uh, matrix so from your description here i don't think we have enough metric to 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 support this matrix model maybe first we can uh, and give, give give this more detailed description uh, and uh, and we can um, uh, to analysis state uh, divide it into some sub areas and put in put those sub areas into the different uh, working group as a metric and then we finally to compose them together again into a matrix model. And maybe it's better that you can you can show us some background and uh, and references at how it uh, look like finally uh, based okay. on your best practice. I would say. Okay, maybe maybe next time we I could show it. Mm -hmm. Great. That's great. Yeah. We just pop up three new ideas from you, from you, one people within 50 <laughs> minutes. And uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I finished. Okay. I know it's. Mm, it's almost the end of this meeting. I just want to bring one simple thing uh, up that um, um, back back in this re this several days, me, uh, Georg and I uh, we were discussing, and and we decided to um, start a series of Kioskast China, and yes, so. But there are still several things to be settled because I, really I didn't realize that it's it, it's we need a, a kind of more formal process to um, set up the whole process and like how to um in, in like because um 
in, in China, we always use um, the platform called Himalaya to host all our um, episodes, but that is really rely on that episode. But I know um, it's completely different style um, from what I realized um, what um, maybe how you guys do this um, is um, so like we still need to decide how to um, publish this episode in, in which kind of forms. But I just want to share this good news. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. So so I can I can I can contribute some some topics. Maybe you can Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're we're definitely going to invite <laughs> you in some in, in, in maybe mm -hmm. the first couple of episodes and dream uh too because uh it's just um, because because of we use different um, platforms and channels and also different language. I think we can all feel the barrier caused by the communication of barrier caused by language. And that's a, yeah, a, a substantial problem. So, but we want to discuss something about community analytics and maybe talking in Chinese could um, bring some thing up in the group of folks who care about community health in China. So, sure. and I really want That's to thank great. for, yeah, the supportive, the support from the community and especially Georg. And I know I need, I, I, I will need some support from Elizabeth and other community <laughs> members. And I just want to say thank you. Yeah, I'm happy, happy, happy to help uh, with, you know, figuring out how you're going to schedule. I, I assume, would you be the one to, okay, um, to yeah. schedule and keep it all straight? Um, I'm sure Georg has probably sent you the documents that we use currently, has he? Okay. Yes. yes. So you can, we can take that and find something that works better for, for you as well. Like you don't have to use what we're using for the other camp. Like you can use whatever you want, so. <laughs> okay. That's great though, I love that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we're out of time, so I'm going to stop the recording and